Hi guys, welcome back to Down Under in Thailand. In the last video you saw that we put up most of the uprights and we had a little ceremony, a little party. By the end of the day we pretty much had all of the uprights and a big portion of the roof framework in place. Since then the guys have had a day off, which was the Sunday, and we've been busy doing what we do on the farm. Then about 5pm I could hear the tractor. I went across and saw Mem had the chap with the tractor from the next farm. The same chap that did the fill for the next flower patch, covering where the lemons were before. So he's here. Mem has him pushing the top foot or so of topsoil from what was flower patch one up into and backfilling the foundations, which is something we knew had to happen. But we also knew that nobody was moving soil in the local area at the moment. So um, we're working on that. Well, maybe I was working on it, but <laughs> I'm procrastinating. But obviously Mem wasn't. She got this guy teamed up to come and fill in so we could get it compacted and give it time to settle. Allowing the guys to continue the build and to contemplate putting the concrete for the floor of the new building. Mem doesn't sit around. She sees an opportunity to do something and she does it. And that's exactly what happened here. We'll take this soil now, but we'll replace it later when it becomes available locally. The soil is first being pushed up into a ramp and then up to the foundation. So he's not driving into the foundations, he's driving over the top of them and he's backfilling all of that area. He's gonna mound it up to a considerable level above where the concrete foundations are and then he's consciously driving backs and forwards on there. Each time he goes up, he steps maybe a foot to one side, and he drives on the fresh bit, the bit that he hasn't driven on already. The full weight of the tractor, that thing weighs, what, four, five, six ton, I don't know. It's compressing that, which is obviously you can't do by hand or foot or whatever. You do it with a whacker, vibrator, or that type of compressing machine, but they're not readily available locally. So we go the highway, and we mound it up, then we heavily water it. The type of clay soil that we have here, as in a lot of rural Thailand, is quite fine and the water carries all the fine particles and materials down into the air spaces and the cavities, dust with enormous amounts of water and then as it dries it shrinks and hardens and becomes more dense and then the tide builders are quite happy to build on that. A lot of Western people are not really convinced, don't really like it without engineer's certificates. If you grab a local builder in your area that's been building for a long time and people are happy with the quality of his work, go with him. Go with his recommendation. They know what works locally. They know what gives trouble and what doesn't. Very few will lead you down into a bad situation. It's not good for them. It's not good for you. If they're happy to go ahead, go with it. Do it. So that's where we're doing at the moment. No actual building today, but something that really needed to happen is the Improsa happening right now. And it clears a path away ahead so we don't have to hold up the build in that respect. Telney doesn't sit around waiting, apart from right now, waiting for him to finish. She gets the job done. Amazing woman. Thanks for that, guys. Catch up with you later. Another video coming very, very shortly. Some significant changes very quickly in the structure in the next few. Thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe. Comments below. See if you can guess what it's going to be. And we'll give us a comment. And we'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.